Hey guys, welcome to EMS Office Hours. This is Jim Hoffman. These are your Monday Minutes, and I'm going to be kind of changing things up a little bit this week, guys. See how you like it. I want to really start cranking out this content for the study guide tips. Um, I've been doing a lot of uh, personal coaching lately, and the, what I do find is that people are struggling with key concepts going into exams. I want to get this out so more people can take advantage of it. And this week, we're going to continue on with trauma, focusing a little bit about soft tissue trauma in particular. This is part three, um, and I think you're going to get a little bit out of this session. Now, I always ask you why this is important. Just to kind of remind you guys, this isn't just for exams. It is really key information. It's going to, of course, help you pass your exam, right? This is key stuff you'll see a lot on exams. However, it's also meant to build your knowledge base, to move your knowledge needle. This is going to help you in the field. It's going to help you make better clinical decisions, write better reports, and even interact with other healthcare professionals. So I'm going to actually switch my screen. I'm just going to kind of show you some of the key elements here, guys. We talk about soft tissue trauma, and what I've done here, just kind of break it down into like a quick Word document. Just discuss this stuff, get it out to you, so you can use it. So soft tissue trauma, these are the injuries to the skin, surrounding structures, right? Our main treatment, control the bleeding and stop or prevent or treat for shock and hypoxemia, okay? Guys, closed wounds, things like contusions, this is that bruising that's below the dermis, right? Below the skin usually caused by blunt trauma. Your hematoma, which is that swelling, is caused by leaking blood vessels, right? Also below the dermis, all right? Um, your crush injuries. These are blood vessel injuries, guys, and where internal organs can also rupture. Your symptoms, your patients can complain of pain, um, numbness, tingling, pallor, they can be very, very pale, and they might even have pulselessness to certain extremities distal to wherever it is where the injury is happening. Now, crush syndrome, you might have heard of that. That's that prolonged compression, right? Usually beyond like four hours, six hours, right? Can be life-threatening, guys, because then you get that compartment syndrome, this is really a true emergency, guys. Bleeding, that bleeding and swelling, it's in a closed area. It can compromise circulation and then end up causing tissue ischemia. All right. Now, we talk about open wounds. And pretty much, we've seen these, right? Abrasions, that's the outermost layer. You know, it gets rubbed off, road rash. We're going to clean, remove you know, contaminants from that, bandage it up a little bit. Um, laceration, that's a tear or split or even an incision, okay? Our treatment, again, controlling the bleeding, monitoring for shock, okay? Um, punctures, those are sharp, pointed objects that get into the tissues, knives, nails, things like that. You got to worry about internal organ damage with these guys, okay? And our treatment, again, control bleeding, monitor for shock. You kind of seen the, the, the pattern here, right, for this these types of injuries, Control bleeding, monitor for shock. Um, your avulsions. This is that loss of the full thickness of the skin. Okay. Treatment guys, usually for avulsions, we're going to clean it as best we can. Try to return the skin to its normal position. And again, control the bleeding. Use bulky dressings. Okay, for these for avulsion type injuries. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about amputations. Guys, this is either a partial amputation or a complete amputation where you get a complete loss of a limb or a digit, okay? Major bleeding is of limb, when you get a limb loss, things like a leg, an arm, stuff like that, it can be fatal, okay? So make sure we control the bleeding. Try to save the amputated part if possible, Usually the treatment for that is going to be uh, saving the amputated part, putting it in a sterile dressing into a plastic bag and putting that bag into ice, okay? Of course, follow your local guidelines when it comes to that, guys. 
All right. Um, this might be the type of thing where you're going to use a tourniquet if your protocols allow that. All right. It might be something where your the 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 part goes into um, different types of, of uh, you know containers, and then the containers go into ice. Whatever your protocol says, that's what you should follow. But usually, the con the common treatment is you're wrapping that part in a sterile dressing, putting that into a plastic bag of some type, and putting that in ice. Important to know, guys. Don't withhold transport. Just looking around the scene for a part, okay? But like I said, the 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 injury could end up becoming fatal. Now, hemorrhage, guys. It could be either external or in external or internal. It's really a break in the in the vascular system. Okay, guys, adults can lose about maybe 500 milliliters without a lot of harm. Okay, but keep in mind, less than that, even up to maybe 300, could actually kill a pediatric or an infant. Right, so. It, it's relative. Know your your blood loss and how much you know patients can lose before you start seeing signs and symptoms and shock. And next week, I'm going to kind of give you a breakdown of the stages of hemorrhage, so you can kind of help you gauge that. Okay. So just kind of go on real quick here. We talk about the injuries, guys. We talk about external injury. We talk about you know ex uh, external already. When we talk about things like the soft, the soft tissue injury, we, we mentioned internal. Is that break in the vascular system, right? But we talk about external injuries, those soft tissue injuries, looking for the three different types of blood loss. You have your, your arterial blood loss that's bright red. It can spurt, okay, with every pulse beat, okay? Um, we don't see this that often, but when we do, it is the most serious, okay? Um, your venous blood loss, it's a darker red blood. Um, it's going to flow slow and steady, and this is usually your deeper cuts, deeper punctures, things like that, that you're going to see the venous blood flow, okay? And then your capillary. This is the ones that aren't as serious. It's kind of kind of ooze, all right, and it's medium red, you know, in color, okay? Guys, when you're out there in the field, you're going to see these types of bleeding, and you're going to be able to recognize which is which very quickly, Especially arterial, when it's spur spurting out, you will realize um, that that is an arterial bleed. Especially when you think about the anatomy and where the blood bleeding is come from, coming from. This is where we talk about things like amputations, how they can be a life-threatening injury if the amputation is also includes an artery, okay, like the leg or the arm, okay. Stuff to think about, guys. And again, these are key elements. Um, you know, these type of Lectures can be hours in the classroom. I'm trying to break down this stuff, guys, to give you the key elements to help you when you're studying and preparing for exams. So I hope um, you will uh, join me, guys. Engage with me on social media. Check me out on either Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. I'm pretty active on all three of these channels, especially Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm at EMS Safe. On both Twitter and Instagram, or you can get me on Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash the EMS professional. Guys, if you enjoy the stuff, if you feel that these type of things can help you, you want to keep growing your knowledge and building your knowledge base, go check out TerraMedic. I've got a trial membership there. You can get all the content there, access to everything, hours of audio and video, gigabytes of download, practice exams, and of course, exclusive access to me. And however I can help you, go check it out. The trial membership, go to emsseo.com forward slash turbo. We can get all the details there on doing that if you are so interested. If not, I hope you're enjoying this content, guys. Um, be sure to, you can message me, DM me on any of the social media areas. Contact me via email at contact at emsofficehours.com. Let me know your thoughts, something you want to see here on the Monday Minutes. And um, I will try to go ahead and create a session just on a topic that you might be struggling with. I'm sure others are as well. All right, guys, that's it for me. As always, I am Jim Hawkins for EMS Office Hours and the Monday Minutes. Stay safe.